You're doing all the time. Oh, no, I don't blame you. I don't care. Shit, it doesn't bother me because I ain't doing it wrong. I don't blame you. Okay. My, my, uh, one of my best friend's husbands was killed by the police uh, this past year. She can't get the insurance money, had a very good job, so nothing has been paid out or nothing, and she's wow. raising three kids on her own, all. and it's all because they don't want to admit fault, but they outright tased him and sat on him until he died. Wow. And it's how, all videotaped. It how all long, video. How long ago was this? Uh, a year ago. Yeah, what, it, was, he, it was less than 20 miles from here. Is it in a, is the article in the newspaper, or it has to be in the news, right? Yeah, oh yeah, you'll, you'll find a story about it. Um, uh... The actual date that he died would have been um, October, the end of October 2019. Wow. Because then my brother-in-law committed suicide two months, January of 2020. So yeah, we're here a little over a year and both of them. So was this just, from your recollection, this is just a traffic stop? or? Yeah, he was, he was on his way to rehab and I don't know why, but they pulled him over and um, he was with his boss and a pastor and they were putting him on an airplane to go to rehab somewhere. And um, something happened and the cops got involved and they decided to tase him three times and then a, a female officer sat on him and he said he couldn't breathe and he was dying. He said, I'm dying. I don't want to die. You're killing me. And literally, then he died. Wow. I know. Crazy. You're Sound, telling you. It sounds like another George Floyd incident. 34 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, my condolences to you oh, no, and to your friends you. You and for your time. brother, too. Yeah, thank uh, you. I appreciate it. All right. Searching, searching. Searching, 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 and searching, and searching.